For thousands of years, mankind has assumed that the entire universe exists in a defined form ready to be discovered by us. Studying the universe is thought to be like using the Encyclopedia Britannica. We can open any volume, even one that we've never looked at before, and find pre-existing answers. But experiments suggest that the world isn't like a paper encyclopedia. When we study tiny particles, their properties seem to appear only when we specifically look for them. It's as if we opened a paper encyclopedia and found that the letters were forming on the page before our eyes. The biocentric universe theory offers an alternative view that the physical world is a participatory, ongoing project, more like Wikipedia. Let's look at a Britannica-type version of the world and see how it would be different from a biocentric wiki world. Britannica world is complete. We know that all of the information is waiting there with the words fixed on the page in ink. So we would be very surprised if the facts we found depended on the way we were looking them up. But that's what happens in experiments. When we look for an electron's particle nature, we see one thing. And when we look for its wave nature, we see something else. In WikiWorld, this is what we might expect. WikiWorld can provide answers that depend on what we choose to look for by generating new pages on the fly. It isn't that the electron's properties were predefined and waiting to be discovered. They became defined only when we looked for them. This is just what we see in experiments. Britannica world is material. It is made of paper and ink and sits on a shelf. So we would be very surprised if looking at one volume caused a sudden change in another volume. But when two particles are produced at once and sent miles apart, and we look at one particle, the second one seems to change instantaneously. It's as if the particles communicated in violation of the laws of physics, what Einstein called spooky action at a distance. In WikiWorld, this is not a problem. Its information is digital. WikiWorld is a virtual encyclopedia, not a printed one. So, if it generates a new page, that describes two particles at once, we should expect both descriptions to appear at the same time. If our universe were like Britannica world, all information would be found in a single absolute form. Particles would behave the same whether or not we observed them and would have definite, unambiguous paths. But that's not how the real world works. Information seems to come to us only on a need-to-know basis. And the properties of objects can depend upon how we observe them. The universe may not have existed in a predefined form since the Big Bang. Instead, it may have been generated bit by bit by the observations of living and evolving organisms, a process that continues to this day.